boom. Um, because with Eli, <laughs> there was a. It, obviously, it took him some time to kind of get into the groove of being the QB. And then he hit a stride, and then it, it seems like there are just certain years where he's like on fire, and then the next year he goes back to just kind of being like first couple few years Eli again. I'm just kind of waiting to see what's going to happen this year. Yeah, yeah. That That's the most frustrating thing about the Giants, is that it's not usually... Like, they give up so much yardage. Especially, like, in key situations. I don't want to see you wiggle your ass, Cruz. Come on. Accelerated burst by holding R2 to get the edge around the defender and gain five yards on the play. Okay. And I think the thing that the thing that's really the most frustrating thing to me as a Giants fan. I mean, I, I I live in New York State. I always have. I've always been near the capital. You know, it, it's my home. They're my home team. People are going to argue with me, I'm sure, until uh, the cows come home about them being the New Jersey Giants. But uh, they have they have great potential, and they always have. And it's like every year, they just seem to collapse. Like they have they always have had the potential. As I said, I didn't really catch much of the preseason. I've seen a little bit here and there. But uh, it doesn't surprise me, tight ends being an issue. And yes, I, I do wonder. I wonder. I always wonder when it comes to the Giants. I guess that's part of the... Uh, part of the intrigue, I suppose. Use acceleration burst to score a touchdown. Oh, alright. They probably want me to wait, find my hole, and then burst through. There it is. As I said, I'm not very good. It's been a while, too. I mean, I own 09, and I've played other versions of Madden since then, but... I don't really, uh, I haven't played Madden in a long time. I probably should wait until I'm not in the drill to be reading that. <laughs> Not going to pretend that I would have came out on that one alive, but... I'm going to have to try this one again. Okay, that one was pretty open and shut. And I never, I was never into playing multiplayer with this game, or even just like, you know, playing on the couch, like with or against friends, because whenever I would play with people, they don't just pick their plays, they pick their plays, and then they manually select everybody on their team to, <laughs> to encroach on the line, so that no matter what happens, I'm getting my ass handed to me in three seconds, like they don't... They don't play. I pick the play. Let's see it play out football. I, I wonder if the wide receivers having crazy speed advantages in matchups has anything to do with the fact that unless it was in very, very rare situations I noticed in some of the previous years of Madden that I did play, it seemed like going for the long bomb 
on the edges was almost like impossible. Again, I suck, so that doesn't really mean anything. But I, I wonder if I wonder if they're trying to alleviate that a little bit this year. Oh, that was almost there. I wonder if the stick is the juke. I probably could have juked him right there. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. And that's probably what I'm going to do with my first game, too. It's probably going to end up being a quick exhibition match. Because I don't want to start my season yet until like I, I know this inside and out. Get out of my face! Yeah, I, I, I think my playstyle is usually the same. Of course, in previous years, for obvious reasons, <laughs> um, it always seemed like running was like the best option for the Giants in Madden. I mean, they've always had great great running backs. You can hand off that ball and like nobody would be able to stop it. As long as I don't have any players shooting themselves accidentally in the leg while I'm playing a game. <laughs> I'm gonna have a good time even though I suck. Because I know I suck. Like, I can usually tell, like, when something's my fault or not. That seems like I didn't have any coverage there, though. I know I'm contradicting myself now, but. Alright, I'll try the field goal tutorial next. Can't imagine this having changed changed that drastically. Oh, kinda. Alright. Oh, the win, huh? I'm liking that a bit better, actually. It's not so plain Jane. It seems to make more sense when there's actually wind. It's hard not to explode when you're playing this game and bullshit happens. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like real life, but you know, there's some things that obviously go on in Madden that you're just like, what? It's insane. Like, you still, like, I feel like you probably still, even this year, I haven't, again, I haven't played, but. Like, I feel like once in a while, like, I, I try to play it like I, I don't want to take big chances. Like, I know if it's going to be fourth and long, like, I'm, I'm going to pump the ball. I'm not going to try and be stupid about it. But sometimes I feel like the computer decides to take some, some chances when in real life the team probably wouldn't. I mean, we're talking like first half of the game's kind of stuff here that they shouldn't be going for. Field goal drill. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Oh, that's not what I wanted. I'm sure you've probably seen it on the forums, but I'm not a big fan changing gears here. I'm not a big fan of what Nintendo's doing with the new 3DS. I mean, Wii U was one thing. They literally just called this freaking thing the new 3DS. <laughs> they're not even... Oh, I waited too long, didn't I? I? They're not even trying anymore. And the thing that frustrates me is that I... I I love Nintendo, I do. They have fun games. Their products are good and they're usually, for me, they've always lasted a really long time. I don't feel like there's like a quality control problem. And then this. I literally had somebody on Reddit the other day Tell me, you were a late you were a late adopter. You should have expected this. I, I bought it in like the fall of 2013, which at that point it wasn't even three years out yet. I knew it wasn't going to be that long before something else was going to come down the pike. But come on. Ooh, I'm going to kick that to the left a little bit. Guess my arc maybe it was too high. Oh, I see. Okay, there we go. I, I probably am going to end up getting the new 3DS. Pisses me off that I'm calling it the new 3DS here on a live stream, but hey. Um, the only thing that's really making me consider it right now is... My son uses my 3DS on occasion. Not too often. But he gets so excited and he's like... Nah, 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 nah. He's like, you know, he's like yelling at the thing in a happy way, but then he gets spit all over the screen. So I have to take a microfiber cloth and wipe the, the damn thing down every time he uses it. This seems to make a lot more sense too this year. Oh, I kicked it too hard. Touchback. So, um,. Yeah, I probably will end up getting one for that. Probably not far enough. Oh no, nice. So th the plan is, is hopefully at some point, um, we end up getting the new 3DS for me. That way, my son can get his hands on the 3DS we currently own, and everybody's happy. Otherwise, I'd say forget it. I'm still not happy with... I mean, if this was a new console, I'd still be blaming Nintendo for not giving the 3DS a really nice life cycle. I mean, the thing started out slow. The first year or two was rough for a lot of people. Like, why did I buy this thing? Or they just weren't buying. And then they come out with a flood of great games in, like, you know, 2013. And, you know, it proves itself.